Welcome to Vibratech Trainers and Consultant Private Limited. We are going to see a interesting case study on centrifuge balancing. This is applicable for all types of industrial centrifuge. Case study prepared by Vijaya Krishnan Venugapal, Director of Vibratech Trainers and Consultants Private Limited Chennai. He is a chartered engineer with more than 35 years of experience. He is an international vibration consultant and ISO certified vibration analyst CAT3 certificate holder. Also he is certified maintenance and reliability professional from SMRP. Continuous centrifuge we are going to see is belt driven by a motor of capacity 55 kilowatts and running at 1800 rpm the centrifuge is mounted on steel frame at above ground level with anti-vibration mountings. Vibration measurements are taken in all three directions. Horizontal, vertical, axle, in each locations. Measurement locations are motor non drive end bearing, motor drive end bearing, centrifuge bearing. Vibration data are collected in terms of displacement in microns peak to peak and velocity in millimeters per second peak. Now on to the vibration limits, as per ISO standard and with our previous experience. When the velocity falls below 10.0 mm per second peak it's considered as good. When the velocity falls between 10.0 to 25.0 mm per second peak it is considered as fair. And when the velocity falls above 25.0 mm per second peak it is considered to be rough. The vibration values are maximum at motor drive end axle, velocity up to 57.1 mm per second peak with displacement of 600 microns peak to peak, and at centrifuge drive end horizontal, velocity up to 52.9 mm per second peak with displacement of 490 microns peak to peak, and the equipment falls under rough category. On going through the spectrum and frequencies at centrifuge, shows dominant peak frequencies is in 1 times the running RPM. Unbalance in the centrifuge rotor indicated. Insufficient rigidity and area contact at fixing locations. After the initial analysis, the centrifuge rotor was taken up for in situ dynamic balancing, and a correction weight of 250 grams were added. Significant reduction in vibration levels indicated. The quality of balancing is good. After the balancing vibration data are collected, the vibration values are maximum at motor non drive end horizontal, velocity up to 21.4 mm per second peak with displacement of 250 microns peak to peak, and at centrifuge drive end horizontal, velocity up to 10.2 mm per second peak with displacement of 100 microns peak to peak, and the equipment improved to fair category. The comparison spectrums after balancing. The spectrums shows the first peak frequency velocity value is reduced from 52.6 mm per second peak to 9.0 mm per second peak. Ensure proper area contact at fixing locations and inspect for wear or corrosion in the base frame causing insufficient rigidity. Vibratech cater among all major industrial sectors. We conduct vibration analysis level 1 and 2 training programs online and also in plant. ISO Certified Vibration Analyst Category 1, Category 2, Category 3 Training and Examination. Services we provide are Vibration Analysis, In-Situ Dynamic Balancing, Laser Alignment, Motor Current Signature Analysis, Thermography, Building or Ground Vibration Measurements. We also market and provide service for machinery vibration analyzers and meters, and low-frequency building vibration analyzers.